Hey everyone, welcome back to the Long Dark. We are playing um, Whiteout. That's the that's the name of the challenge. So we still have 27 days left. We have a lot of time. The weather is going to begin to start to get bad. But let's see exactly how far we already are. We're about like halfway, sort of. We're the big hard thing is, I mean, the water is probably doable, but. We have most of the easily accessible water in Coastal Highway, so we're really just going to have to go to other maps. The hard thing is going to be finding the rifle. And it might even be worth just like running around to get that first. Because when it comes to like the wood and stuff, reclaimed wood, they easily can get that from Coastal Highway. Same with the other softwood and hardwood. Food, same thing once we get the rifle because we can just hunt. We'll need to save 10 cartridges at least for this. We have a hatchet already. Water, that's just a matter of fuel to burn if we have to. And lamp oil, worst case, we have to go fishing. So it's almost morning. And the good thing is we also have tons of these tablets. So that will save us on fuel for cooking all that water. At least a little bit. Uh, these clothes are like mostly okay. I do want to repair these at some point. It's too dark though, and I don't want to use fuel just to repair that because, like, you know, we need that. <laughs> we actually need to keep the fuel. Hopefully, we find a revolver as well. That's going to be a big deal. Then I can drop all the flares, or most of the flares at least. So it seems like there's not much we can do, so I'm just going to waste a bit of time. We're mostly out of water. We should be getting well fed if we don't already have it. Look at our... F I, I love how horrible that looks. Okay. So I think really it's just a matter of leaving. I do have a ton of weight on me though. still very dark. Maybe I can repair these now, though. Yeah, and that will pass some time. Good. And so those are actually going to be pretty warm. We have tons of coffees eventually, which is super useful. I probably want to bring another maple syrup for food if we're going all the way. Well, we'll probably find food everywhere. But like I said, I want to maintain well-fed if I can. So where's like all of our weight coming from? What are we just 26 sticks that we really don't need? And it's really not that much weight if you consider things. We have like all of our tools. Yeah, so I think we're probably pretty fine. And we have all of our sticks. 50, then I can just head out, I guess. I have to beware of the moose and wolves and the bear. So we found the way to Pleasant Valley, right? It's just like a mine right off the road over there. It's like right behind that snow pile, I guess. Guess we just either we wait or we use a flare. It's probably not a big deal to use a flare. I mean, we are carrying three. Oh, it's over there, I see. Oh, they're all here. Right, of course. Because they're always pretty much here. So I'll light this and then I'll get out. Let's see. I guess I could have just walked past them. Whatever. It's still saving weight. Also, do wolves ever take down moose? Like, could you get a wolf to take down a moose in the game? 
I never even thought of that. That feels like it'd be too easy. Yeah, let's get a bit further from the other ones and then... What? It just doesn't even know I'm here anymore? Okay. Now it does. That's weird. That's probably some weird, like, AI thing. Is it because I aimed at it? Will it do it again? No, this time it's actually running. It's gonna catch up. That will go away. Weird. There's a nice fog in here, or maybe it's the uh, Canadian wildfires, all the smoke. I guess, yeah, this game is in Canada, so it could be that. I don't think there's really a faster way to get there, unless there's something up there. But I'm pretty sure it's just, like, along the road up ahead. If I remember from last time we were here. As long as the bear isn't here. I hope it's not on the other side. I don't think it is, because it should be closer to Mystery Lake than Desolation Point. So I'm pretty sure I'm remembering correctly. Hopefully I didn't forget any other things, because <laughs> I did not prepare for this. So I'm just hoping that we were prepared. Really, we just need the rifle. So we might want to just not come back until we get that. You know? Because we actually just, like, cannot go without it. I didn't bring the extra food, like I said, but that doesn't really matter. Extra coal is good. Interesting. Oh, do you mean... So, does this just go nowhere? Because I assume it's not like, during an aurora, the elevator magically works. So, either this cave goes nowhere, or there's an alternate route that I just missed. But I didn't seem like it. Because it seems pretty straightforward. It's like a straight line. It doesn't seem like this... So this cave... I guess just doesn't actually do anything? That's confusing. That's really weird. 
why why is that so weird to me so is this just like a cave well that's great because i do not remember how you actually get to pleasant valley then All I can think of is keep going this way. I don't want to get near that other bear again, though. But even if we end up going to Mystery Lake, that's still fine, too. Just trying to remember. Has it really been that long? I thought I like just recently. It's so weird. I can't wait for one of you in the comments to be like, oh, actually, you just missed that obvious corner in that cave. Okay, just crows. Either way, we can check out like this trailer and the ones up top as well. Second hatchet. Don't need two fire run cleaning kits. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure we really just need to commit to leaving. Hope nobody needs this anymore. It wouldn't make sense to sort of haul this back. It's just too long of a journey. I'll eat this, though. It's not that good of a food anyway, so it's not worth carrying. Plus, I need more water. What else did I... I had a flare shell and something. I'll carry this for now. It's not the road, is it? That doesn't... That would make no sense to me. I do have my AC on, so that means I can't hear fully as well as I can normally. So my headphones are, like, open back. Wait a minute. I guess that 
make sense because I don't think we walked far enough that way to be in mystery like because you have to be like all the way over right so I'm guessing this is the transition cape to Pleasant Valley guess it works out in the end unless it ends up just being another intermediary cave but this feels more right to me Okay, I'm going to use a flare, so I apologize for the fact that it's just going to burn red into your retinas, but from a gameplay perspective, it just makes sense for me. Rather than using fuel. And it's really just going to come down to how long it takes us to find a rifle, I think. Um, we're gonna have to come back here, right? We're gonna be coming back this way. So I'll leave some firewood for us to take back. That way I don't have to carry it everywhere. But it will be here and we can take it back when, when we actually walk back this way. So hopefully we don't decide to, like, go through uh, Mystery Lake. But it doesn't really matter. Wow. And I'm assuming coal would count as a hardwood, even though it's not wood. I'm hoping at least, because it's like the best fuel source. Holy crap. I don't need a cleaning kit for a firearm, I need a firearm. Take the cloth. And I think similarly I'm going to drop most of this coal here because clearly there's a lot in this cave. And I'd rather have these later than now. I expect to find more coal. I'm actually just going to drop all of this. Hoping that we'll get more. That looks like the right way. Another lantern. I wish that you could unfuel these. But yeah, let's drop off the one with less fuel. Holy crap. If we find a fire a rifle here, then we'd be kind of set. But I don't know what the chances of that are. Okay, once again, I'm just going to leave this. Crazy. Let's try and get through before this flare goes. Depending on how much bigger this cave is. Just scrap. There's so much coal. What the heck? If this counts towards the total, then we're basically set with firewood. 
but I have a sneaking suspicion that the game is going to be mean and not count coal as wood, even though it's a fantastic fuel. Oh, we want to get over there. Yeah, too bad, Astrid. Drop that. And I did pick up the shirt. I'll keep the windproof bonus. I don't think I need the quality tools. Okay, I can kind of see in the dark. So I'll, I might just walk the rest of this and leave whatever coal is on the ground that I don't see. Although we do have a ton of matches. No, but we're like right here. We dropped like 20 coal in that cave and we already have 12. That's ridiculous. I'll just gladly eat this food just so we can, you know, keep going, but... If we have extra, we can obviously bring it back. I'm just going to top myself up. Because I expect to be here for a decent while while we look for a rifle. Okay. Okay. That's the, um... I'm trying to remember exactly where we are. Here's something down there. Oh, did... Is this one that you have to climb ropes to get to? I don't remember. I don't know why you would, but it feels like that. I don't remember the last time I came here. I think it would have been in the last, like, well, very recent challenge. Oh, right, it's like the mining area. like the sign that made me remember. So anything other than a bear, we're fine. I bet you could get a ton of food from the plane crash if you had the carrying capacity for that. A wolf up there. I'll just avoid, if I can. Don't know exactly which way I'm going yet, but I kind of know that at least the road is this way. And like I said, I can't fully hear the game the way I usually can. Because I like to be fully immersed, you know, like, I, I like being able to hear things as soon as I can. Okay, wolf over there. Well, 
Well, I mean, buildings, right? Yeah, so we're like... Okay. I always feel like I hear a bear. So is this the town from episode 3, it looks like? Which means there'll be tons and tons of loot. But this should be a shortcut, rather than going all the way around on the bridge. But that still doesn't mean we'll necessarily get lucky with a rifle. Once we have it, though, that's the game, pretty much. Okay, let's sort of start on this side. And we'll work our way over. I feel like I still have trauma from episode 3. And I'm just imagining that there's timber wolves here. That's a pretty good jacket, actually. It's gonna end... Yeah, you can already see. Oh, but like a windbreaker, though? I'd rather keep the windbreaker for the wind. And it may end up matching or something, but... It's also a lot of work. Okay. Um, maybe we should check the mailboxes, because there could be, like, rifle rounds in them. I wonder if we could walk up there to get back quickly. Probably. We're also plenty warm, so I'm not really worried about that. If the weather turns, <laughs> we're literally loaded up with coal. Um, let's just go onto the ice. This area, it looks like there's a pry bar in there. Cattails would also count as a good food source, but... There's also so much normal food from everything. It's not really worth the time, I don't think. This building is going to be filled, and I mean, there's so many other areas to check. I at least would like to find a revolver. Um, I don't care about either of those. Take the flare for now. I guess I could have swapped my pry bar for a new one. How bad is it? 96, that's fine. Um, well, we'll have to see. How bad's the mobility? 
It's actually improved. So it's just um better. Because of course, except for the weight, but so I'll take the increase in mobility for the dec for the increase in weight. Okay, there's probably gonna be a good amount of stuff in here. I don't care about stump remover. So this will be all the food that we're going to be having in Pleasant Valley. I mean, clearly we're going to grab even more food in these buildings, but this would cover us for a few days. I haven't been looking for those cash things, memento hints or whatever. Um, so we should be getting well fed at some point today. If not tomorrow. So we're going to have to dump a lot of stuff in here, at least temporarily. This can be our sort of mini base. That's useful. If we're really lucky, one of these buildings will have the rifle and the revolver, and then we can just basically head back. Okay. I also wouldn't mind uh, the distress pistol. This stuff will come in handy. Would not mind bear deterrent at all. I wonder why. I wonder if they're ever going to add bear spray to the game. You know, because that's like a real life thing. But maybe it'd be too OP. But maybe you could make it a unique item where there's like one or two of them, you know? Um, I don't want to cook a ton of water here, though. So I don't know what to do with all the fuel I have. Give me a gun. Aw. Okay, let me just drop stuff because we're already very slow. That's a lot of food. We're not we haven't even looted the kitchen. Oh, but it is one of these stoves. The issue is it would just take so long to carry water back from here, even if it'd be faster to cook it here. That's really small. I'll probably still cook that, though, just for the, f the uh, oil. Let's go through some of these. Oh, that's like most...
Well, we definitely have more cloth than I need, so I'll be able to drop that too. And then there should be cabinets up top that I haven't looked at yet. Day. I'll leave that there. Only drop like all of that here, then come back for it. What else? Oh, I don't want to eat that. I might take it with us eventually, but I do not want to eat it. Cloth, I really don't need this much. I can kind of just keep the best can opener, actually. Matches we already have <laughs> way too much. Oh, we just got well fed, nice. These water purification tablets are actually adding up, but they, they're going to be useful. Oh, we picked that up and never actually used it. Sounds like it's windy out. But we're also not going far. Just a little. This is really the thing with these lower difficulties. There's just so much loot that it actually becomes a problem. At least on Interloper, like... There's so little loot that you're rarely just, like, super slowed down by it. But I find myself in lower difficulties just having too much all the time. Don't care about the books. I'll take the firewood, I guess, for now. mind if there happens to be a rifle under here. This will come in handy. I wonder if this will actually be better long term for us. Cuz it's like it's a degree colder. But it's also an entire kilogram lighter and a bit more maneuverable. So, I think in this in this case I'm going to leave that here as good as it is. Because we're not cold, and even if we get a little cold every now and then, it's just not a big deal. I need to stop picking up cloth I don't need. Next. Take 
take it. I don't actually don't need the shell casing. I'm not gonna make any ammo. It weighs nothing, I think, but still. We'll swing back around and get the other side after. Well, this stuff will come in handy. Give me a rifle. I would love that. Yeah, Astrid, because I hope somebody does need it. And I hope I'm taking it away from them. Another one. Um... Basically the same. I actually don't know if we're going to need these purification tablets with all the water we're finding anyway. I don't think any of these are actually good. Uh, is that one better than the... No, I don't think so. Oh, I didn't even see those shoes. Maybe the church will have a gun. Unless there was something under a pew and I didn't look. Get it? There'd be a gun under the pew because the gun go pew pew. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, more books. So is that actually it for the town? No, right, there's this one as well. Oh, but it's um closed up. So we'll probably have to keep looking. 
head to the farmhouse, the barn, etc. We do this, though. Really slow because of all the water and food. It would almost be worth just heading back right now with everything, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I can always dump stuff here and then keep going. Because like I said, it's really going to be the rifle that's hard, not the food. Not the firewood, not the water. It's going to be the rifle. Okay, bit of help. Still have way more matches than we need. Especially with the Fire Striker, I'll just carry like this many. That helps. Accelerants aren't very heavy, but... I think we have too many of all of these things. Like, medical stuff. And let me also do the math, right? So we need 10 more liters. And we already have like 10 here. So... Let's just see, right? Each of these purifies, what, a liter? So we really only need 10 of these at most. So four, eight. We can just dump everything else. The rest are overkill, right? So that would get us our 10 if we needed them. So I'm just going to do that and assume we'll have more. All this food. I should actually take the soda though. Because I like to just get rid of those. Um, the cans of tomato soup might be worth just eating because they're really heavy. And we could cook that. We did get a good amount of fuel with us. We only need a bit more for lamp oil. The big issue now is that it's really just, we're really tired. Okay. Um, we're making good progress though. Try and top up our water first. We have plenty, so we can just drink it. Oh god, it's like the middle of the night and we're fully rested, basically. That's awful. It's actually horrible. That is so not okay. Maybe I shouldn't have eaten this, because even though it's low condition, it's so dense in terms of calories. So it'd be good to carry. But not anymore. I think I'll just have to waste some time. Or I could head out at night. That's actually probably doable. So I think what I'm going to do... 
gonna head outside and then head back in so I can save. And then if I remember, then next episode we can go on a nighttime adventure. Otherwise I might just waste time, I have no idea, but I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We made, you know, reasonable progress, but really it's just going to come down to the rifle. So hopefully we find that in the next video. So I will see you then. Thank you.